the next level of time or bin of time, as we say, that we are all entrained or matched to is the so-called circadian time cycle, which is 24 hour rhythm. This is perhaps the most powerful rhythm that we all contain and that none of us can escape from. We all have this circadian clock that resides over the roof of our mouth. The cells in that circadian clock fire, meaning they release chemicals into our brain and body on a very regular rhythm. It oscillates, it goes up and down once every 24 hours and then repeats. Every cell of our body has a 24 hour oscillation in the expression of various genes. So it's a little built in timer in each and every one of our cells. And the earth rotates once every 24 hours And the processes that are happening in every cell of our body are linked. They are entrained, as we say, to the outside light-dark cycle. There's some very simple tools that one can use to ensure that your entrainment, your circadian entrainment is precise. And I cannot emphasize enough how important it is that your circadian entrainment be precise. Why? Because disruptions in circadian entrainment cause huge health problems. They increase cancer risk. They increase obesity. They increase mental health issues. They decrease wound healing. They decrease physical and mental performance. They disrupt hormones. You want your cells to be linked to the circadian cycle that's outside you. And the circadian cycle outside you mainly consists of when there's sunlight and when there is not. And that's why the simple protocols to fall out of this whole discussion about circadian entrainment are the following. View 10 to 30 minutes of bright light, ideally sunlight within an hour of waking, assuming that you're waking early in the day, especially you wake up early in the day, get outside, see sunlight, do that again in the afternoon or around evening, 10 to 30 minutes, depending on how bright it is outside, artificial lights throughout the day, or if you want to be awake and you wake up early and there's no sunlight outside, you can of course turn on artificial lights if you want to be awake, but basically you want as much bright light, ideally from sunlight in coming in through your eyes throughout the day. And then in the evening, you want as little bright light coming in through your eyes. The light viewing that you do and the avoidance of light at night set the fundamental layer of your time perception. One of the best ways to disrupt your perception of time is to disrupt your circadian clock. And that is not a good thing for a number of different reasons. There are other ways to so-called entrain your circadian clock. One of the best ways to do that is to engage in physical activity at fairly regular times of day. You don't have to do it every day, but if you're going to exercise, try and exercise at a fairly consistent time of day. Probably better to exercise than to not exercise, even if you have to move that time of day. But light, activity, and we'll talk about the third in a minute, food, are the major ways that you entrain your internal perception of time to the external events. And also eating at fairly regular times. However, This is exciting. The data mainly point to the fact that you need to eat within more or less the same time window each day, not that you always need to eat your meals at exactly the same time. So you don't necessarily have to eat uh, lunch at noon and a snack at four and dinner at eight in order to keep your circadian entrainment aligned or uh, sharp. You could, for instance, have a small snack at noon and then eat at two and then have dinner at six and then a small snack at eight. It doesn't so much matter when the exact meals fall so much as that they fall more or less within a consistent period or phase of each 24-hour cycle. 